the inflation. Inflation here in Florida is higher than the, uh, other states. Inflation is a common topic of concern across the U.S. and most certainly here in Florida. Though price hikes have cooled considerably from the peak seen in 2022, inflation in South Florida still runs as hot as the weather, currently 5.7 percent compared to the national rate of 3.4 percent. A new study by the consumer advocacy group Help Advisor ranked Florida high among states spending most on groceries, but found no city in the country spends as much as Miami, with households there shelling out on average a whopping $327.89 per week. Katia Silva literally shops around to save a little money. It's amazing how increased the prices all over the supermarkets. But a good idea is to come here to one supermarket, then the other supermarket because has sales or bogos or that. And that's the way you save money. Houston, Texas and Riverside, California are not far behind Miami, with households there spending around $300 per week on groceries. Once uh, prices are put up in the store, uh, there's a reluctance to take them down. So we often say that, that prices take the elevator up and the staircase down. Um, so having been able to, for the first time in many years, take advantage of the COVID-induced inflation due to supply chain difficulties, uh, grocery stores were able to jack up their prices and now are doing their best to keep them uh, at high levels. Nationwide, the study found U.S. households are spending an average of $1,000 a month on groceries. Among ethnic groups, Latino families are spending the most, almost $1,300 a month. The report also suggested a correlation between education and spending, with less educated consumers spending more at the store. And analysts say Miami's popularity is helping drive the inflation wagon. In Miami, you've had a net migration inbound into the city with no appreciable increase in the amount of square footage devoted to grocery retail. And as a result, you have more demand being channeled into the same uh, level of supply, uh, the same number of stores. And that uh, also sustains the high prices that we see at retail. And unless the region sees an influx of retailers to change that supply equation, Prices here in the so-called magic city will likely remain above the national average.